happy day after Christmas. So this is my mom, Lou McCauley. A couple of weeks ago I was talking to her about um, speaking on the day after Christmas, and she said, ha ha, wouldn't it be funny if somebody rewrote that poem, Tw Twas the Night Before Christmas and All Through the House? You know that one, right? And they rewrote it, Twas the Day After Christmas and All Through the Church. And I was like, haha, that would be great if somebody would rewrite that. And so I picked out a somebody, her. <laughs> she hasn't learned yet not to bring her good ideas to me. <laughs> uh, so she, after some cajoling and making some promises I probably won't be able to keep, she also agreed to read the poem that she rewrote. So without further ado, it was The Day After Christmas by Lou Macaulay. Has anybody here been roped into things by Mario? <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was wondering how many of you guys have heard this poem? It was the night before Christmas. Yeah. Oh, almost everybody, right? How many of you guys then know who wrote this poem? Anybody? His name was Clement Clark Moore, and uh, he first published this poem in 1822, so it's a long time. It's getting on nearly 200 years that this poem has been quite famous. Um, he was a very interesting man, a real estate developer from a very well-known family in New York. And he spoke five languages, he was quite the scholar, and he was a professor in a theological seminary. Um, I believe it was a professor of biblical learning. So he had published many papers and, and was also a poet. Um, he published this poem anonymously because he was just a little teeny bit embarrassed by it. He wrote it for his kids, he had five kids. And um, for 20 years, it went as an anonymous poem. But almost immediately, everybody loved it. And um, he felt that his important works were overshadowed by what he called a frivolous poem. You know, he, he really didn't like it a lot. But that's what we remember him for, although nobody here remembered his <laughs> name. But I, 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 I tell you that because I took the liberty, or quite a few liberties, in rewriting his poem, but I thought I'd better give credit to Clement Moore, so. Um, it was the day after Christmas, and all through the congregation, the people sat contemplating yesterday's celebration. Their stockings still hang, now limp, empty, and bare. Their contents, now eaten, are strewn everywhere. Their children were crammed and sufficiently stuffed with cookies, sugar, and candy, and they embraced the toys they thought were just dandy. But that was yesterday. And today, you can bet, they are thinking of all the wonderful toys they unexplainably did not get. So a bit discouraged, I peered through my window and out onto my lawn, and I sadly noticed that all my Christmas decorations were gone. Some thief in the night had snatched them, I mumbled. Peace on earth, goodwill to you too, dude, I grumbled. <laughs> and has anyone noticed Santa's reindeer now all have new names? Come Google, now Facebook, on Twitter, and me, on Barbie, on YouTube, on Xbox, and PS3. I don't know what any of those things are. <laughs> Rush across town and dash away to the mall. Now charge it, charge it, charge one, and charge all. So another Christmas day has come, and now it's gone. I had a growing feeling that something was quite wrong. The rush, the shopping, the stress, and the worry. The cooking, the parties, the noise, and the hurry. Well, we did hear a bit about Jesus' birthday in story and song. And we've heard Jesus saying he came to give us abundant life, but is this peace, Prince of Peace really the answer to our stresses and strife? The answer is yes, for he is the Savior, Redeemer, Living Word, Risen Lord, Almighty God, 
and King of Kings. As we bow before him, and on our knees we bring our very hearts and lives as gifts to the lover of our souls. God became man, humbly, willingly switching roles. A stunning thought this, God becoming man, living and walking upon this earth, and loving us so that he laid down his life to give us new birth. So how can we thank him, please him, just what can we do? Seek his face daily, love him completely, then go out and love others too. Twas the day after Christmas, and right here in these pews, sit grateful, worshiping believer, eager to hear more of God's good news.